Tuesday morning and blank canvas magazine's Azora Costa de Falios has arrived from Australia to interview artist Zephyr Brick at his home in Leighton Buzzard, a town with an unlikely yet not made up name. Mr. Brick? Yeah, I'm up here. Thank you so much, Mr. Brick, for agreeing to see mm. me. I love your office. Um, so, Mr. Brick, your art is very unique, but how would you describe it? Um, well, the everlasting themes of humankind, um, a rebellion against the forces of modernity, a statement about the power of creation, and a constant struggle to stop interference by Central Bedfordshire Council. Yes, Sisyphus? What do you want? Oh, I'm so sorry, my overlord, but that special shop has shut. I wasn't able to buy the special gel that you wanted. What? But without it, I cannot complete my vision. Uh, yeah. Why must the universe keep acting against me? But luckily, I do have some spares. So how exactly do you prepare your art? Well, I'm a firm believer in the, the hands-on approach. First, um, the vision. Second, the manifestation. And third, the execution. Execution? Do you want me to give you a practical demonstration? Yeah. No, 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 back a bit. No, use your left leg. Use your left leg. No, not like that. Look, that stone. Leave that stone. Can you just pull it over two frog hairs breath that way? One and unce that way. That's it. Perfect. It's so inspiring to see an artist in progress. Uh, of course, the, the decorative parts disappear fairly quickly, which is the truth about the transience of our lives. But what remains is a, a deep impression. Uh, and for me, that represents the legacy. The eternal void. And what do you call that one? That's the caldera of creation. Oh, it's deeply moving. Oh, how about that one? Lobster in a hole. Isora is keen to spend quite a lot of time with Zephyr, so she gets enough words to fill her brief. She has discovered that even renowned artists must deal with wanton destruction. It's ruined. Look, my, my installation used to be there. It's not funny. That's vandalism. The council are vandalising my artwork. It's a disgrace. Really disgraceful. Disgraceful. Right. Show me more. Tell me more about like what happened there.
So I'm now into my final question, Mr. Mm -hmm. Brick. How much time do you dedicate to your work? It's not just a hobby, it's a, a way of life. Of mm -hmm. course, I, uh, I don't just create holes and decorate them. That would be an extremely one-sided approach. I mean, to complement it, I've got a secondary occupation that also provides a deep sense of personal satisfaction, brings with it questions about the circle of life. It's absolutely fascinating. Mm, yes, it is. Actually, I must get going. Oh. Thank you, Sisyphus. I see. What is it that you do? Oh, uh, highway maintenance.